So let's talk about fans. Do I want fans for my YouTube Christian channel? No, I don't. Um, I don't want fans. You know why? Because my Christian channel is free for everybody to watch. It's not even for me. It's for everybody. And it's for God himself. God takes all the credit, all the glory for all of my videos. He's the one who inspires me to make my videos. I don't, it's not a fan vid, it's not a fan channel. I don't want fans. If it someday grows to where I have like a million, million subscribers or anything, guess what it's going to be? Still a Christian channel. Someday, if you guys see me walking around in public, well, I live in North Carolina, so good luck with that. Um, if anybody uh, here sees me walking around in public somewhere um, in the future, you know my face. It's right here. I'm not signing any autographs. I'm not taking any selfies with you. Um Again, all I'll, all I'll do is give you a hug and say God bless, or pray for you, or something like that. That's all. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna sign. I'm not gonna give you guys an autograph. I'm not gonna give you um, a photo with me and you. No, because this isn't a fan channel. It's not for fans. I don't want fans. I'm not trying to get fans. I'm not trying to collect people for myself. Fans are when people are trying to become famous and want people to follow them. I don't want to become famous. These are simply messages in videos of how to get saved and to get to heaven and to escape going to hell for all eternity. How terrible of a person would I be if I made all these videos just for fame, just for fans, just for views? Just for subscriptions. Just for fame. Well, I already said that. Just to become famous. I would not be a true, sincere Christian if that was the case. No. All of these videos on my channel, all glory goes to God himself. God takes all the glory, all the credit. Not one single bit goes to me. I'm the messenger that God gives the inspirations to make these videos for. That's all I am. These are not even my videos. These are God's videos that he's using. To, he's using me to speak. He's speaking through me to give you guys warnings and messages and, um, and how to avoid going to hell for all eternity. It's not me. It's the Holy Spirit within me that's speaking through me in these videos. Every single thought that comes to mind when I'm saying stuff in the, the, like this video is inspired by God himself. I'm not taking any glory. I'm not taking any credit. It's fine with me however many subscri subscribers I get, but I'm not trying to get any subscribers. I'm not trying to get any fans. I'm not trying to be famous or anything. Even one subscriber or only one view on my entire channel is vitally eternally vitally more important than anything imaginable imaginable because my videos explain uh, of how to avoid going to hell and it just one view one view is one person and one person who escapes going to hell is that's just infinitely like more precious than anything because it's your soul and your soul is immortal whether you believe it or not your soul will let live forever either second death the lake of fire or eternal life in heaven with God one are the two one of the two places it will live forever you you existed when God created you and you will never die. Your flesh will die. Your physical body will die. But your soul will live on for all eternity. You will never die. 
no matter what. In hell, you will burn for all eternity. In hell is fire right now. People are burning. And then judgment day, hell and the death and hell be moved, cast into the lake of fire, along with the wicked, which are human beings, the souls of humans, sinners that never receive salvation, and Satan and his demons, the fallen angels, will all have their place in the lake of fire, the second death. See, eternal life means to live. You will have life with God for all eternity in heaven, sure. But eternal death, de death does not mean cease to exist. Death just means separation from God for all eternity. You still exist, sure. You still exist because your soul cannot die. We're made in the image of God. Now, when we, when the, when the Bible says that you're made in the image of God, that does not mean you look like God, like a person. He doesn't look like a person. He's a spirit. We don't know what he looks like. God the Father, the Father that is. What, what the Bible means that we're made in his image is that we can never die. Our souls will live for all eternity. No matter what. Eternal life or eternal death. It's your choice. You can believe it if, if you want or not. It doesn't matter if you believe or not. What matters is the truth. And this is the truth. For example, bread. Yeah, a loaf of bread. If you think it's like a, a bagel, if you if you don't believe it's bread, but believe well, hang on a second, bagel's bread. Um <laughs> if you if you think a loaf of bread is an Oreo, that's not true. Oh wait, hang on a second, I, I got it something else. Um what I'm trying to say is even even though you think something is not true does not mean does not change the fact that it is true. So when I talk about these things like heaven and hell that you will live for all eternity burning and fire for all eternity if you don't believe it that does not change the fact that it's true because it is true the bible the word of god says it. God cannot lie. Whatever is in the Bible is real and will happen soon. So, look at my face. Do I look like I'm not serious? Do I look like I'm not telling the truth? No, right? I'm dead serious. My face expression. Look at my expression on my face right now. See, I'm concerned about every soul on this earth, whether they're going to heaven or hell. That is why I make these videos for my channel. I'm not trying to get famous. I'm not trying to get fans. I'm not trying to get views just for the views. I'm not trying to make these just for subscriptions or just a hobby to do because of boredom. I'm making these videos inspired by God because I'm a true saved Christian from the blood of Christ. September 6th of 2014, I got saved. This is my calling as a Christian, is to spread the gospel to people, no matter how I do it, whether it's in person, which I'm not comfortable do it in per doing it in person, in real life, in public. I'm not, I'm not comfortable going up to every single person I see and say, you're a sinner. You deserve to burn in hell for all eternity. Do you want to hear about the way to salvation? See, I mean, people will instantly get offended, right? They'll punch you in the face probably or something. See why, how that, that's uncomfortable for me? uncomfortable for me so god gave me other ways the the don't be left behind pamphlets that tell you how to get saved you can get them on amazon by billy graham don't be left behind don't be left left behind during the rapture and the internet the internet world is bigger than earth itself because anybody can access it and who have just one person who accesses this these videos of mine, their eternity can be changed forever if they're unsaved. If they're unsaved, their eternity can be changed. They can live with God for the rest of eternity. 
All you have to do is just take less than a minute and place your faith in Lord Jesus Christ for salvation. That's all there is to it. It is so easy, but people have different points of views. People have, people say animal sacrifices um, that you have to, um, one second, that you have to pray seven times a day. No. Um, that you just have to be a good person? No, absolutely not. That's the biggest lie of Satan, that you can enter into eternal life by just being a good person. Um, no. All it takes is less than a minute. All you have to do is place your faith in Lord Jesus Christ for what he has done to save you from your sins. ABCs of salvation, admit to Lord Jesus Christ with a sincere heart that you are a sinner and that you cannot save yourself. Believe, B, believe in the death and uh, burial and res resurrection of God, of Jesus Christ on the cross of Calvary. Believe that he died for you and that God rose again on the third day. C, sincerely confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord and believe it in your heart that God rose him from the dead three days later confess him as your Lord and Savior of your life and you will be saved Romans 10 9 for if we confess with our mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord and believe it in your heart that God raised him from the dead three days later you shall be saved Ephesians chapter 3 verse 8 for it is by grace that ye have been saved and not by, well, Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8 and 9. For it is by grace that ye have been saved through faith and not of ourselves, for it is the gift of God, lest any man should boast. So you got you guys got to go with the scripture, so you can't make it to heaven on your own. It's like saying, you want to come to my house? I'll give you clear directions to my house. But if I give you these clear directions to my house, to my house, m me in this video, you you probably end up saying, mm, I'll go this way. I'll go this way. I'll go this way. I'll take I'll take this way and then I'll go I'll go on a boat and I'll cruise over the ocean to the other side of the world and I'll still make it to your house. No. You can't make it to my house unless if you follow the, the directions too that I clearly give to you. Same with God. God gives us plain instructions, directions to his house. Jesus Christ is the directions to his house. Place your faith in Lord Jesus Christ and ye shall be saved. So I don't make these videos for fame, to be famous, for fans, for glory, for credit. Every single credit and glory goes to God. I get nothing out of it. I don't want anything for myself out of this, these videos, except for people to get saved through my videos, to come to Christ, because that is what I'm called to do, is to win souls to Christ. You know, I, I saw... A, Satanist um, a few days ago at Walgreens and there's another sign of the end of the world there's Satanists out there and they don't want anything to do with God they they worship the devil that's what um, hence the word Satanist they don't they hate God they follow Satan they communicate with Satan and Satan's deceiving them, as he is the demons. Satan, they, Satan's making the Satanists think that they're going to spend eternity reigning in hell with the devil, only to find out that they're going to be tormented with the devil for all eternity. Those, those, all the Satanists need to come to repentance. Even Satanists can be can be saved. I've seen videos on YouTube of witches who um, went, who were in witchcraft, who turned to God, who found out that Satan was deceiving them. Animal sacrifices using the blood of um, like animals and 
putting them in a, uh, like, pouring the blood in cauldrons and, like, lighting candles or something like that and communicating with Satan. Um, oh, and they found out that Satan was deceiving them somehow. I think God showed them that, but they, um, they turned, they asked God for forgiveness and God saved them. I mean, God can save anybody if you, even murderers, rapists, anybody. He can save anybody. Only if you place your faith in Lord Jesus Christ. He will, because when you place your faith in Lord Jesus Christ, you're taking yourself back 2,000 something years ago to the cross at Calvary while Jesus Christ himself is up on the cross, um, crucified, still alive. And it's as if you're kneeling before his feet on your knees with your hands in a praying um, uh, with your hands together like you're praying with your eyes shut and sincerely from your heart saying please Jesus save me from my sins Jesus will save you he will save you by his blood you shall be saved I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll talk to you later.